Okay, my name is Alfred Holtzoy. I want to show you a machine that I built based on Bob's machine built about 20 years ago with an erector set and was just a proof of concept. I'd hoped to make it so that it would at least somewhat show transfers way back then. I could never get the sync because of the erector set um, sufficient so that I could actually move weights back and forth. Those round things are actually electromagnets. Um, you can see the, the start of the power move the thing that was going to move the power from one uh, from the bottom into the electromagnets. Um, the idea is that the the top rotor moving clockwise is the primary motive force. The bottom one just transfers the weight back and forth on and off the top rotor. It's just a close up of the mechanism. You can watch it slow down. There's a weight going on, a weight going off. If you look at the black one, there's a weight Let's see, go around here. There's a weight going on at the top there, and as it comes around, the weight goes off right there. At that moment, you can see that they're at rest with each other. There's a moment in time where they're completely stopped relative to each other, and you can move the weight back and forth. There is no relative momentum <coughs> between them. These are just different views of the, of the machine running slowly so you can see the action. Again, if you watch the black, the two ones that are, marked, that are paid in black, there's a weight going on right there. There's a weight leaving there. As you can see, it moves the weight back and forth uh, in an arc, approximately 180 degrees in front of it. So the weight goes on there and then continues and removes there. And then the other ones are doing exactly the same thing, constantly moving back and forth. About a 180 degree revolution means there's nothing on, there's a slight imbalance. This is just a close up of the differential showing the counter rotation. Uh, back then it was a pain doing that with the rector set to make it all work right. But it gives you an idea of what's going on. Um, there'll be another close up here that shows just the movement as, as the rotor moves past in slow motion you see pick up and then release there's a pick up and release again um, of course timing is you can put it on either back side or the front side but you can see moving slowly that it stays reasonably in, in sync but not perfectly and that's the problem